I think there's little doubt that one of the biggest revolutions in the game uh, in recent years has been the introduction of hybrid clubs uh, as long iron replacements. It's interesting that even on tour, even the very best players now are choosing to take long irons out of the bag and replacing them with hybrids much easier to hit, much easier to get the ball airborne and much easier to use from a wide variety of lies. So it's no surprise that um, for most of you, I'm sure nearly everybody who's watching this video has at least one hybrid in the bag. And if so, I want to just go through a couple of points today that I find are kind of common threads, if you like, things that I get asked about a lot, things that I see people um, produce out on the golf course, uh, which can determine whether you hit these clubs uh, to your best ability or whether you occasionally struggle with them. So let's first of all analyze wh what this club is. What is it for? Well, I think one of the biggest causes of confusion is the difference between perhaps a fairway wood and a, and a hybrid and people obviously first of all trying to replace fairway woods with hybrids which isn't always necessarily the best course of action um, they are very distinct uh, clubs they're very separate clubs if you like and I think that using and understanding this club correctly is a big part of being successful with them so the first thing to understand is a, hi a hybrid is an iron replacement it's not designed to replace your fairway woods it's a much shorter shaft it's a much more upright lie angle similar to, to that of a long iron so in my bag my irons go up to four iron this particular club which is one of the new Mizuno JPX hybrids this is a three iron replacement um, so the longest iron I now actually carry in the bag is four iron and that's the same for a lot of professionals to be honest out on the tour um, and as such I'm going to treat this as a three iron and not as a fairway wood now what does that mean well first of all I'm going to create an address position which would be appropriate to a three iron so we we dealt with fairway woods a couple of weeks ago and the difference between hybrid and a fairway wood and certainly on into the driver would be that a hybrid club we're still looking to hit slightly on the downswing fairway wood we're looking to hit pretty much at zero bottom of the arc maybe a degree down but, but pretty much right at the bottom of the arc and a driver we're looking to hit slightly on the upward swing to, to increase launch angle and, and distance this we're going to treat like an iron so I'd be looking to have a ball position which as for my other iron shots would be one club head width from my left heel so when I address the ball I set the club in position I've got a ball position line on my left heel as part of my routine I'm going to move my left heel one club head width from that line and then my right foot control stance width and the rest of my address position so the ball is forwards but it's not quite as far forward as a driver fairway wood position okay that's the first thing the second thing is as I say mindset wise have to remember that we're trying to hit this slightly on the downswing so as we swing into the ball we've still got a weight transference very much into the left side for a right-handed player we're looking for at least 80 percent of your weight on your lead foot at impact that allows us to hit a couple of degrees down on the ball we catch ball and turf ball then turf and we're able to strike the ball correctly on the club face center the strike on the club face but also hitting slightly down creates that little bit of backspin which gives you the elevation now the great thing about these clubs is that they're so much more forgiving than long irons ever were and that's the main reason why people choose to use them it's much easier to get the ball airborne and you can hit the ball a much more consistent distance if you're a player who struggles as the clubs get a little longer you maybe start to hit the ball the same distance with two or three different irons hybrids are very much uh, a way of changing your distances in other words increasing the distances and filling some of the gaps in because they get the ball up in the air quicker and increase the carry distance for particular golf shots so in terms of how we're going to hit these as I say ball position is critical the mindset of I'm going to use this club like an iron not a wood it is an iron replacement is crucial and we build the stance build the setup and the posture and we make sure that during the swing we are transferring the weight into the lead side head and chest more over the top of the ball 
better impact than we would for a driver or a fairway wood shot and that will give you the best trajectory and the most solid strike with these clubs. In terms of playing them from slightly uh, more varied lies, for instance, certainly when you get into the semi-rough and rough, critical element is the downward strike. We have to hit down into the longer grass to get the ball to pop up into the air and create the elevation in the flight. So, mindset's crucial. Treat them like an iron. That's what they're designed to replace. Build the correct setup and ensure that you make a good transfer into the lead side through impact, head and chest working more over the top of the ball than for a fairway wood or a driver. I hope this helps. Any questions, leave them below or get in contact with us through the academy. I'll look forward to reading your feedback. <laughs>